Good afternoon. Um, wonderful weather we've been having uh, here. It's been great and Mona off. Wonderful event. Well done to uh, Elfie and uh, Christelle for organising such an important platform for, uh, for new photography. And thanks to Eva for inviting me. I'm very honoured to be sitting here ahead of four artists who are going to be speaking about their projects. So I'm rather in a privileged position here. And it's an opportunity to tell you very briefly about the work that we do, Street Level Photo Works in Glasgow. We're only one of two independent photography centres in the whole of Scotland. Us in Glasgow and Stills in Edinburgh. Similar in their makeup in terms of gallery exhibitions, uh, production facilities for photographers, training courses and such like. In addition to what we do, however, we uh, programme exhibitions in other places, which is about developing local and regional partnerships with other places and taking photography to audiences who might not otherwise come to our space but also building a bridge to allow them to do so. Uh, the local and the international go hand in hand in terms of what we do. Um, so I guess more of a focus in the past couple of years has been on developing more uh, deeper and meaningful links with other photography centres in other countries in order to develop opportunities for photographers. That's our website. We run the Photo Networks uh, platform. That is a portal that provides information on all of the exhibitions that are happening in Scotland at any one time. So should anybody be visiting Scotland, you visit that site and you'll find out what's on. So that's an extension of what we do. Kind of similar to Photography in Berlin, which is a wonderful uh, platform that you can find out everything in photography that's happening within this city. We recently hosted a residency by uh, two artists, one from East Africa, Ewar Oyango, who's on the, the left there, and uh, Sakai Mashashi from Dundee. And that was with an organisation called Focus Scotland who work with photographers and provide opportunities for them. And they develop their work uh, at street level because we have the facilities to do so. So that type of partnership is quite important in terms of how we work with other organisations that are structured differently to ourselves or not funded regularly. The current exhibition that we have on is the results of uh, the outcomes of four artist residency exchanges that we've been doing with VU Photography Centre in Quebec City. Two artists from Scotland, uh, Melanie Latour here and Matt Hay spent a month in Quebec City. Two photographer artists from Quebec, in Montreal in fact, came to Glasgow and spent a month there. Bertrand Carrier and uh, Yossi uh, Penno, who's here in the audience today, and I'll say something a bit more about uh, Josie in a short time. We have a website blog for the project called Photo Dialogues. The theme of this was largely heritage and migration, which is quite a rich theme of a subject matter, especially concerning uh, the Scottish diaspora in centuries gone by. There's a lot of Scottish connections within Canada and also French Canada. The artists responded fairly imaginatively and in different ways to that theme. This is Josie in her studio at Batanian and uh, she's been undertaking an annual residency. Uh, which is a fantastic opportunity for a maker. That's nothing to do with us, but it seemed to be just a good opportunity to mention this. Josie is participating in an exhibition that opens there on Tuesday evening, yeah. five o'clock on Tuesday at Batanian. Yeah. yeah. And there's, uh, there's one of Josie's source books. I love that, A Guide to Fossils. 
Um, our connection with Germany in terms of our programme goes quite uh, far back, but in recent years we've done a few fairly uh, generally could be called historical exhibitions. Uh, we worked with the Goethe Institute in 2013 in developing, uh, we hosted the first uh, public exhibition of the work of Willy Romer's life in the city of Berlin from 1918 to 1921 during the Weimar period. And uh, the Goethe Institute that we work a lot with, uh, they've got an office in Glasgow and very active in terms of their support for German culture across different art forums. Supported a visit by Enna Kaufold, who's a Berlin-based uh, photo historian and academic, and he gave a talk on um, Willy's work. Uh, that was followed by an exhibition we did of uh, Berlin-based Helga Paris. Uh, that was a big exhibition that was organised by uh, IFA. And that's Helga there, her first visit to Scotland. Very, um, very interesting artist. Uh, that was followed more recently by an exhibition on the work of Sibylla Bergman, who was obviously one of the founding members of uh, Oscrowds. And uh, I just love this statement of hers, I'm interested in the edges of things, not the centre. It just has a lot of affinity for a lot of the interesting photography work that is around. That was an opportunity to get someone else across, in this case, it was uh, Heinrich Volkel, who's a member of Os Krauts, and he came, he was a friend of Sibylla. Sibylla's uh, deceased now, unfortunately, and he gave a very informative talk on the work of Sibylla. Um, Helga's uh, exhibition I first actually saw at Leipzig Museum of Photography, and uh, in an early visit to Marseille, I saw the exhibition by Sibylla Bergman, so that's how the connection came about. At the time Heinrich was in Glasgow, there were two photographers from Marseille. We had just developed a project linking Glasgow with Marseille, who Glasgow is twinned with. Glasgow's twinned with a lot of cities. Havana, Turin, Marseille uh, being two of them, Nuremberg. So it was coming up for the 10th anniversary of that twinning and partnership and we thought that we would uh, use that as a springboard, springboard to do an exchange exhibition uh, involving uh, photographers from Marseille. In this case, Frank Purcell on the far right, sitting next to him, Johan Lamelaire. Anyway, that developed into a further um, collaboration with Marseille Centre of Photography and uh, we staged an event in April during Glasgow International, which is a biennial of uh, visual arts, and that was undertaken at an old uh, music hall in Glasgow, and several artists from Marseille came over for that, as well as a few from other places. What we did in terms of the programme that we curated for that event was to signal collaborations that we either had or we were going to work upon with other European cities. So for example, on the, the far left there, uh, Julia, who's kneeling down with the, the mustard jumper on, she's from Lithuania <coughs> and lives in Berlin. Above her is Mary Hawkinen, who's Finnish. So the countries that we have been working with, or we will be, in addition to Berlin, of course, is Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, and we'll be developing an exchange residency with Finland as well. Uh, some of the other people are the artists from Marseille. Robert Andoro, um, been a very productive uh, residency exchange by all accounts, and you'll hear from them in a moment or two. Um, as has been mentioned, one aspect of the exchange with Berlin it has been an artist exchange, but there's also been an exhibition exchange, and that involved the work of nine photographers, members or associated with AF Gallery, who are also hosting an exhibition currently. So that's Eva, who's facilitated much of this, uh, Charlotte Doro, who was doing the residency at the time and Katrine and uh, Franca who came to Glasgow two months ago 
to present their exhibition in the building that we're in, um, Trongate 103. So it became much more multifaceted, the, the exchange, and in addition to the contemporary work of these artists, we also uh, exhibited work by uh, Harold Hauswald, again, a founding member of Oskrauts. So Oskrauts is at the apex here of some of this exchange, all of this exchange in actual fact, because most of the members of Art Gallery are alumni or work at, at, at the Oskrauts School of Photography. So there's an interesting synergy going on there. And synergy is very important. It brings together two or more different elements to create a, a, a whole that's greater than the sum of its parts. And that's a nice analogy uh, for a residency and an exhibition exchange. So it's the beginning of a dialogue that we will uh, continue with organisations and artists in Berlin. The challenge at the moment is finding the resources to do so. I do like to believe that where there's a will, there's a way, but that uh, remains to be seen. Uh, but there will be a way. And uh, the current exhibition that's on at AF Gallery features work by three. I know you're probably getting tired of being called a young photographer or artist, but you are, uh, in, terms of, uh, in terms of age. And uh, the work is all linked thematically. Uh, this is work by uh, Alicia Farnan, which is uh, photographs of various uh, social clubs in the west of Scotland. Uh, portraits of children and young people by Elisa Stack. I'm not going to tell you much about this work because you have to go and see the exhibition. It's on until the 4th of November. It's open Friday, Saturday and Sunday uh, of, each, of each week, so get along to see that. Declan Malone's work. He's the third uh, artist exhibiting at Alf Gallery. And there's a snap from last night's opening, and this is the collective who are AF Gallery, a wonderful bunch of people uh, to work with, really pleasant, and they've facilitated the stay by the three artists in terms of providing a home for them to stay. So these elements are all really important in a residency exchange. It's not a case of people being given a key uh, when we do an, an artist residency exchange and it, we'll see you at the end of the residency. It's about developing conversations and a dialogue and finding a way for the artists to converse. So it's quite, it's quite active in that sense. The website blog that's been created for the Glasgow Berlin Exchange is Photographic Parallels. So you'll find some writing and images on that from the various uh, artists and agencies involved. Take a note of that. And a little uh, ending statement that kind of takes us back to uh, Sibylla Bergman. But I like this, you know, the centre is whatever you happen to be. It's a, it's, a, it's a challenge against monotony and uh, homogeneity.